Tonight we're digging deeper into issues surrounding a growing homeless camp in downtown Jacksonville. This after Jacksonville City Council a woman spoke out to News for Jets live, accusing surrounding counties of dropping off homeless residents in downtown Jacksonville. Last week I was here um, and I saw uh, one of the police cars from Camden County. They dropped um, a couple people off and actually they were leaving when I was coming up and the two people got out of the cars. You saw that live right here on News for Jacks yesterday. Reporter Scott Johnson started looking into this. And Scott joins us live from that camp in downtown. What have you learned, Scott? They are working to get fencing up. Right now, just the bars for the fence are up. It goes around this entire encampment, which there are dozens, if not maybe a, yeah, dozens of tents that would stay still here. And the allegation is that other agencies, other counties bringing their homeless here as Duval County works to get these people into shelters in the next few days as this place will be closed off. The fences are going up at the homeless camp downtown with the goal of eventually removing this tent city. And if you ask around, they'll tell you the residents are not local. They're saying basically technically that this is where they were coming to get help because everybody's telling them that we have a program here that's helping the homeless. That's what City Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman has been speaking out about. So we reached out to communities all over Florida and Georgia. Here's what we learned first in Camden County. They sent this statement. Some individuals that had been released from incarceration were from Florida and requested a way to get to Jacksonville. A transport deputy was headed south to Florida, so his supervisor allowed him to transport the people to Jacksonville. They were provided a ride as a courtesy for them since Camden County does not have a Greyhound bus station, nor a homeless shelter to provide for their needs. But other agencies are saying they don't do this. St. John's County Sheriff's Office says they don't transfer homeless residents to Jacksonville. Ware County Sheriff's Office does not either. But there is concern Jacksonville is gaining a regional reputation that it has an open space for the homeless population. Of course it's compounding the issue. It's absolutely compounding the issue. From what we're understanding is, you know, the city was given a budget and they did house 36 people for 30 days in a hotel, just 30 days. And then after the 30 days, they're right back here or wherever the next location is. For now, it's a fight city leaders and homeless advocates are working to solve. The goal to have everyone out by March 9th. I've also heard reports in here that people are coming from as far away as Miami, but I just talked to a sheriff's office down in the Miami area, just got off the phone with them. They say they're not transporting anyone up here. We're live downtown. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Scott, thank you.